The Alabama Cooperative Extension saw a need in our communities throughout the Black Belt part of our state to make sure that our farmers understood the materials that we were actually teaching them. For years and years, we have been providing food safety and produce safety training. The Building a Food Safety Program to Empower Disadvantaged Producers in Alabama is a project that we felt like would benefit the farmers. I returned back to uh, my home and to the place where my brother has his farm. I got involved with the Empowered Farmers Market Program through my affiliation with the Extension Office. We started learning a lot of things that we didn't quite understand and we figured out that hey that's a little better way to do this and to get a better product at the same time. One of the things that we were really excited about is targeting our low vision farmers. A lot of times we take for granted that you can actually see even the screen. We made sure that the screens were wider, the fonts were bigger. As an elderly individual, they were able to provide magnifying glasses and things for us to be, the print, you know what I mean, was large enough for me to be able to read and comprehend without straining. And that was a plus plus. And the book materials also, it lays it out there, put it in bold print. So you know that this is what's important. We also were intentional about making sure that they could hear us. So all of our programs throughout the training, we use PA systems. We wanted to make sure that we were empowering our low literacy farmers. We went into this project with the idea of taking that curricula and we lowered the literacy level on it to a sixth to eighth grade level. They were very aware to try to accommodate the information, the time, and our comfort and our appreciation of being there. So I think it was great. It wasn't like they were trying to go through the material to satisfy a requirement. It was all dedicated toward the people that were there. So all of our farmers were able to come in without even having to request accommodations because we made sure that they were fully accommodated. In working with writing, implementing, evaluating the program, we work with the Communities Improvement Association and also Tuskegee Cooperative Extension System. So this was a great project through NIFA. It was a, it was a godsend to uh, a lot of our, our, our low resource farmers. The bang that we got out of it was that we know that they now know how to handle food safely to make sure that it is safe for the public to consume. And so anytime we have that, that's good for everybody. So our role in this grant was based on um, marketing facilities and also providing conferences with the uh, farmers conference that we have every year. So I think this grant is a great opportunity for the farmers to do their farmers market and also gain knowledge. The coolest thing about this project is throughout the trainings, we were able to provide all kinds of materials and resources. We had this safety kit that they could actually take with them and use on their farm. At the end of the, the project, we wanted to have a finale day for our farmers, so we created these opportunities for farmers to have a farmer's market day. And this was an opportunity for our farmers to come out and showcase what they've actually learned. Setting up their displays, making sure that the produce that they were selling was safe, to make sure that they're practicing all of the food safety content that they've been learning throughout the project. And I'm on that path now to improve the things that I know can be beneficiary to myself and to the public.